Give me the first chapter book of Luke. Let's see what month that Gabriel came, came to, to Mary. Mary. That's right. That's right. That's right. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 1. Follow me. And we'll start reading at verse 26. Luke, quick. And in the sixth month. In the sixth month. The angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. And what? To a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph. Now, Gabriel came to Mary in the sixth month. The sixth month. So that means she conceived in the sixth month. So the first thing, <laughs> I do like Gino most of the time, uh, but a couple of things here. The first thing is the fact that um, he said the English calendar, which he really means the, means the Julian calendar, because Julius Caesar had initiated a brand new calendar for the Roman Empire. Um, this would have been, so January would have been the first month as far as the Julian calendar is concerned. And that would have made Jesus' birth, yeah, June, which would have made his uh, well, we would have made the conception in June and then would have made the birth in March, which March still doesn't kind of fit the time frame or the season because in March and I've been in Israel in February, haven't been there in March, but the weather is still similar in February. It's cold as hell uh, still in February and I mean, March and the shepherds who were supposedly out in the fields and Luke who then came to see the baby Jesus at, when he was born would not have been outside at night with their sheep during that time frame. So March still doesn't quite fit as far as the six month, but let me show you. So this is actually a Hebrew calendar. And in the Hebrew calendar, the six months would have been, and I put my glasses on just to make sure, would have been the month of Elu, uh, which because their calendar is a lunar calendar and it goes by the phases of the moon, it doesn't quite fit the Julian calendar. So the month of Elu would have been September, August time frame. And then when we count six months from that time frame, we get back to the third month, which is Sivan. Sivan happens between May and June. So that would have been the time frame of the birth. Now in May or June of the year, it is very reasonable for the shepherds to have been out in the fields uh, with their sheep at night because the weather is much more conducive to have sheep out there because it's warm during that time frame in Israel because <laughs> I have been there during that time frame and it's almost beach weather in May and June. Well, actually, you can go to the beach. The water's still a little chilly, but it's it's, it's, it's in a better time frame that actually fits uh, when this birth would have happened. Now, because the Europeans, when they took over Christianity and at the Council of Nicaea in 325, uh, one uh, Athanasius, was it Athanasius? Yeah, Athanasius of the Coptic Church in Egypt was told to keep track of when the birth and when Easter would come, primarily Easter. Uh, and back then they celebrated the birth and the resurrection at the same time. They believed that he was born and died in and around the same time frame. Now, because they were then using the Julian calendar, they put that time frame in late March, early April, coinciding with the spring solstice, the, well, the spring equinox, so that that was the beginning of the actual year, the year of fertility um, in the in the month of Nisan. So whenever the equinox would happen, that's when they would have a week later, that's when they would have the birth and the resurrection celebrated at the same time. It was a little bit later on that the date of the birth changed to December 25th because later church fathers started to say that he was, the conception happened on March 25th. And since the conception happened March 25th, then nine months later would be December 25th. And it just happens to fall on that summer solstice. Whether that was purposely done or not, um, I don't know. But it just made sense for them astrologically to see that here's the spring solstice. I mean, spring equinox. And that spring equinox is the beginning of the year and new life and that sort of thing. And now the day is that has defeated the night. And that was already a celebratory time. So they moved the birth to the summer solstice when the sun finally starts setting a little bit more further north at the beginning of the day defeating the night. That might be coincidental or it might be purposeful, but that date has not always been consistent and that date has changed. It's just the last time the date changed, 
it changed from uh, the conception being March 25th, the birth being uh, December 25th, and then Easter, the resurrection happening on and around the spring equinox, which is why the Easter keeps changing. It is never the same anymore because it became more important for it to fit the spring equinox. And it might have been before the Council of Nicaea when they did the March 25th to December 25th thing. And it was after the Council of Nicaea that they did the um, following the spring equinox. So Pastor Gino is on it as far as y'all worshiping and having this Christmas holiday and it being a pagan holiday. He's 100 percent on that one. As far as his months and timing, that part is off. But kudos to the rest of it. <laughs> but still, it's esoteric Christians still getting it wrong. So y'all have a great day. Remember, always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey. Goodbye.